class 4th day BK Birla Public School Kalyan. I am going to introduce you all to the quarantine science activity. Science is a world of magic. Hmm, if you do not understand it. We believe in understanding and demystifying the world of science. And how? Through simple experiments from objects at home. Students from class 3rd to 12th took up this challenge for, of doing the science activities from daily use objects to explain scientific concepts. The response has been great. So, he is presenting some of the videos. Quarantine time can also be fun time. Good morning respected teachers and my friends. My name is Kabir Lakhani. I am in 3rd B. Today I will show you rainwater harvesting model. Rainwater harvesting is a method of collecting and storing rainwater for future use. Tamil Nadu is the first state of India to make rainwater harvesting mandatory. 71% of earth's surface is covered with water. But only 0.14% water is available for human use. Now I will show you how this process works. Rainwater is stored in this tank. Then it goes to filtering process. Filter contains gravel, charcoal and sand. Then it flows to storage tank. Finally, it reaches to barrel from where this water is available to use for washing cars, livestock and gardening purpose. Thank you. and my respected teachers. My name is Arav Purohit. I study in class 3 division F in, in my science quarantine project. I am presenting a toy car prepared from materials easily available at home. The materials used in my car are a juice can, caps of water, straw pipe, cello tape and a balloon. Let's see how. This is my car. This is a juice can, bottle caps, and it's a straw pipe and a balloon. I attached it with the car. In our science class, our ma'am taught us that the fuel used in cars are diesel and petrol. But the fuel used in my car is air. Now, now let us start the experiment. You can also prepare a toy car like me in quarantine. Thank you. Respected teachers, principal ma'am and all my dear friends. My name is Aditya Amit I am studying in standard 3rd B. Today, I am going to present a science quarantine video about food. We need food to live. We eat different types of food. Nutrient are substances which are present in food. That help us to grow, get energy, to work and to be healthy. Today, I am going to tell you about protein-rich food. Protein is a macronutrient. It, it is one of the three nutrients found in the food that, uh, that our body needs in large amount. It is essential for the maintenance and the building of body tissues and muscles. Here I will show you some examples of protein rich food like pulses, nuts, grains, sprouts etc. Milk is also a complete food. Here I will show you some examples of milk, milk products but like paneer, dahi, butter, cheese are nutritious and tasty. So friends, we as Growing children should increase proteinaceous food in our diet because we are future of India. 
Thank you. Dear teachers and my dear friends, I am Nitika Kamar from Standard Third F. Uh, today's talk. My today's topic is on science quarantine project on cooking food. We all know that cooking. Eating cooked food is important for our body, as it kills, as 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 it makes food tasty, soft, easy to digest, and it it also kills germs that may be present in raw food. Different people cook in different ways. Deep frying puris and pakoras are made by deep frying. Baking we bake cookies and cake by baking it. Steaming we steam idlis and uh, doklas do are made by steaming. Roasting we roast chicken, papad and rotis by roasting. Boiling. We boil rice, pulses, and potatoes by boiling it. Now, olden pe uh, different people uh, people uh, now different people cook in different manner. In olden times.
the continuous movement of water from the water bodies to the sky, sky to the land and land back to the water bodies is called a water cycle. Water cycle is also known as hydrological cycle. There are three main stages of water cycle. First is evaporation, second condensation and third is precipitation. Evaporation because of the heat of the sun, our water gets evaporated and turns into water vapors. This water vapors rise up into the sky and form big clouds. This is called evaporation. Now let's talk about condensation. Condensation. This water vapors come in contact with cool air and form little droplets. This is called a condensation. Precipitation. Precipitation. This little droplets become big, heavy and very cool and form down as rain. This is called a precipitation. So, this water gets collected into their own water bodies again to evaporate again and and this cycle continues. So friends, never waste water because water is very precious. Save one one drops of water. Thank you. Respected teachers and my dear friends, I'm Krishna Vasani and I'm here to present my project on COVID warriors. In this situation, there's a new villain which is spread all around the world. Its name is Corona. Now, there are some heroes who are fighting on our side to protect us from Corona. I call them COVID warriors. Now, let's see some of the most important COVID warriors. The doctors and nurses are working all around the clock to keep us safe and sound. They are like God to us. They are using all their weapons to make us safe and strong. The scientists are keeping no rock unturned to find a vaccine. I hope that they find it and succeed one day. The police are keep are trying are working tirelessly and trying to keep us safe in our home. The cleaner is like a pillar of cleanliness. It sweeps the floor and cleans the whole society to avoid getting infection. The army men, do you know why we sleep peacefully at night? It's because of the army. They protect our country not only from enemies but also floods and dangerous pandemics. The sanitizer men use their disinfect spray and from day one they have been working till today. They use their spray and spray out the COVID-19. The delivery man delivers all of the packages to our homes safely and soundly. And they even ensure that we have all the food we need. Last but not the least, the news reporter. They go, they put their lives in risk and go from one place to another to get us the latest news. I thank each one of them and hope that we succeed in removing COVID one day. Thank you. Jai Hind. Hello friends. My name is Anjali Sarma and my division is 30. This is my home quarantine project. Today I am going to explain you about rainwater harvesting and its process. When the sun shines on the seas and lakes, the water vapors up. When the water meets with the cold wind, it turns into tiny water droplets. When many tiny water droplets come together, 
they form a cloud. When a cloud is big and heavy, it comes down on earth in the form of rain. Rainwater is collected and sent through pipes in the earth. Using pumps, the water is sent back into our tank. And from the tank, we get water in every tap in the house. And from the same pumps, we get water for irrigation too. And this is how rainwater help harvesting helps us throughout the year. Thank you. Respected teachers and my dear friends, my name is Ayushi Prakash. I study in 3rd C. I am here to present my project on the topic based on games. So what is a game? Games are activity that involves play and fun. It helps us to relax our body and mind. There are two types of games. First, indoor games and second, outdoor games. Indoor games. Indoor games are those games which we play in an enclosed area like carom, chess and ludo. Outdoor games. Outdoor games are those games which we play in an open area, open area like cricket, football and hockey. During this COVID pandemic days, we should prefer playing indoor games to stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Danika Navin Lekwati of class 3rd. Today I am to explain you all about types of food. There are three types of food. Bodybuilding food, energy giving food and protective food. Some examples of each are protective food, fruits and vegetables, bodybuilding food, soya bean, milk and almonds and energy giving food. Bread, rice and chapatis. Thank you. Good morning teachers and friends. I am Chad Godwani studying in 3rd D. Welcome to Quarantine Science Program. I am presenting an igloo. An igloo is a shelter made from blocks of ice and snow placed on top of top each other. It is often in dome shape. It is found in polar region where there is covered with snow the whole year. The Eskimos live in it. Thank you. Respected teachers and my dear friends, I am Darsha Twalicha from class 3rd C. Hey, do you know how clouds are formed? I will tell you the magic of the nature that takes place. And that magic is water cycle. Now let's see what is water cycle. In summers, water bodies like lakes, rivers, seas, etc. gets heated and goes through the process of evaporation and that water rises up in the sky and comes in comes in contact with cool air and forms as tiny water droplets and that as that water droplets join they form as clouds and as they their clouds become heavy and heavier they become rain clouds and fall as rain and fall as rain so, again this rainwater goes in seas, lakes, rivers, etc. And this cycle again repeats, again repeats. So, th th this, is, this process is called water cycle. So friends, this is my quarantine science project, water cycle. Thank you.
is Devesh Chahan. I study in class 3rd E. Today, I will demonstrate about the reason why stilt houses are built. Stilt houses are found in coastal regions. They are built on elevated platforms. These areas ex experience lot of rainfall. It is built on bamboo poles around 10 to 15 feet high. Now, we will see why they are used. The most common reason for building a stilt house is protection from flooding. When the water level increases in deep type of areas due to elevation and height difference, water couldn't enter in these type of houses and it is safe. Along with this, slanting roof also slides off the water and protects the house from heavy rains. In hilly area also, there are slopey roofs because in mountains there are landslides, debris and stones keep falling. Let's see how slopey roof of this helps. As we can see here, the slopey roof slides down the stone and debris, keeping the house safe. So now, let's see how slopey roof in area of snowfall helps. Here also the slopey roof helps in sliding down the snow and prevent from accumulating the snow on the roof. And this is how it prevents the damage to the house. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Dia Koreja from 3rd A family plays an important role in our life. It teaches us to talk, walk and recognize the things and people around us. It also teaches us good habits, manners, customs and to love and respect each other each other in our family. So our family is called our first school. We, are, we also have learned about various types of families in the lesson number one, learning in a family. There are three types of families, single parent families, nuclear family and joint family. A single parent family is a family a mother or father brings ch child or children. Nuclear family. A nuclear family is a family where children are taken care by their parents. Joint family. A joint family is a family where grandparents, parents, uncle, aunt and cousins live together. In India, still there are many joint families living together happily. Today, we, I am also teaching you generations. Our grandparents are our first generation. Come under first generation. And our parents and uncle, aunt come under second generation. And we come under third generation. It is all about families. Thank you. Hello friends, my name is Ishan Mukulbani from 3rd B. My quantile science project is about a solar cooker. Now let's explain about the parts of solar cooker. This is the reflector. This is the glass plate. And this is the and this is the insulator box. 
you can see the rice grains inside now let me explain the principle of solar cooker the the light energy the light energy converts into heat energy this is imagine this is the sun the sun is reflecting the light inside because of the transparent plate the light is not going out hmm? the sun is an sun is natural and the solar cooker fuel is also natural the sun's energy heats up the box the food we use black paper because it absorbs the heat thank you hello my name is vishani shailesh cha i am studying in standard 3 division f i will talk about cooking food As as you all know, why we cook food? We cook food to make tasty, to kill the germs that may present in raw food, to the, make the food soft and easy to digest. There are many methods of cooking food. Let us talk of some of them. Let us talk about boiling and steaming. Boiling requires the food to submerge with the boiling water and steaming requires the food lifted above the boiling water here in my plate you can see rice as an example of boiling and idli an example of steaming now let us talk about deep frying in deep frying here in my plate you can see bokor rice as an example of deep frying now let us talk about shallow frying in shallow frying the food is touched the, at the bottom of the pan pan and it is uses less oil compared to deep frying here in my plate you can see uttappa as an example of shallow frying now let's talk about roasting roasting means cooking over direct heat here in my plate you can see papad as an example of roasting now let us talk about baking baking is cooked in dry heat here normally normally in oven here in my plate you can see biscuit as an example of baking thank you hello friends i am madhuri ma a student of class 3 b studying in bk billa public school galia as you know 75% of the earth is covered with water still we are facing a water shortage problem to overcome this we can save the rain water and use it for household work today i am going to explain you about rain water harvesting the water is received on the terrace as shown here the rain water is allowed to flow from the terrace to the pipe to a storage tank the the water filled in the terrace is not safe to use so a mesh filter is fitted at the mouth of the pipe This collected water in the storage tank is used for irrigation, washing car, flushing toilets, and for overhead tank. Apart from storing this water in the 
storage tank it can be directed into well which raise the ground water level my grandmother also used this process in her home i hope everyone will do at their home materials used for this activity are piggy bank two sweet boxes pipe pickle bottle ice cream cup chart paper and glue thank you my name is malha chetan nashikar i am from third b in this lockdown we learn ways of cooking food first in lean long ago we used bronze brass and clay utensils nowadays we use a uh, steel and glass utensils and as well as nonstick pans to make things easily first we will learn about boiling and steaming in boiling we boil potatoes pulses rice and water in steaming we steam dosas dosas and dhoklas in roasting we roast papad chicken and roti in this process of cooking that over direct heat deep frying in deep frying we cook puris and pakora in this process we use lots of oil uh, shallow frying in shallow frying we use we cook parathas and dosas Uh, baking in baking we bake cookies cake and as well as bread it is cooked in oven thank you and after the cake keep stock to okay hello everyone my name is paragoy i am from thos today i am going to present my quarantine science video hello everyone i am kartishan Again, 
do again take together and becomes rainy clouds and when the water uh, clouds become heavy and cool this water falls down as rain and collects in the rivers ocean etc and the water again rises up and the cycle continues this uh, cycle is called water cycle thank you hello friends i am part matlani from 13 today i am telling about you solar energy the the solar power is conversion of solar energy from sunlight in this the solar panel is installed at top of the house which stores stores sunlight as the source of energy and generate direct electricity the electricity is used at home to reduce bills solar energy is also used for cooking see when the sunlight comes from the solar panel then the light is on when i place my hand on the solar panel the light is off thank you hello friends myself purushan nani i study in 3e today i will present my quarantine project my quarantine project is showing a water cycle in this we have three processes which are evaporation condensation and precipitation required are a big transparent bowl ice cubes a small glass salt a hot water rubber band and a plastic wrapper take a large bowl and pour hot water into it put the small glass into it then put a put some salt then cover with a plastic wrap and secure with a rubber and put a uh, put some ice over the glass let's remove the rubber We can see the water has been collected. Let's drink it. Oh, water is not salty. In this experiment, we have seen the three processes are involved in the water cycle: evaporation, condensation, precipitation. We can also conclude that the rain water is the purest form of the water. Thank you. Rain water for use. This water is also used for irrigation, 
washing car, watering plants. Pets can also drink this water. Now I will explain you how you can make this. For rainwater harvesting, a few pipes have to be fixed from the roof of the house to send this water to the tank where it can store and reuse. Thank you. Good evening everybody. My name is Pranali Prapul Sarwari. I study in 3rd A. Today I will explain you the process of water cycle. This is the model of water cycle. Due to the sun heat, uh, the water body like uh, seas, rivers and oceans evaporates and goes into the sky uh, and becomes clouds. As uh, in the clouds, small little droplets stick to each other. As they stick to each other, they become heavy and cold. As they become heavy and cold, they fall down on the earth in the form of rain. This, uh, uh, the rain fills up all the water bodies again. This is called the water cycle. This cycle continues. Water cycle is important because plants, animals and human beings, everybody depends on water. Water is precious. Thank you. from 3rd D. Today I am speaking games we play for the quarantine project. Games help us to relax. It is a good exercise for mind and body. We become fresh and active after playing games. There are two types of games. Indoor games and outdoor games. The games that are played inside our home are called indoor games. The games that are played out in open area are called outdoor games. Now I will show some outdoor games like cricket, football, basketball, etc. Now I will show some indoor games like carom, ludo, playing cards and chess. The national game of India is hockey. I like to play cricket. There, is, there are adventure sports like catching, river rafting, diving, etc. And now uh, we should play games and now we should be fit and fine. Now there is corona pandemic so we should play only indoor games. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Myself, Regent, from 3rd Standard E Division. I am going to speak about science quarantine activity video. My topic is usage of water. Water is needed for many activities like cooking, like drinking, like washing utensils, like washing clothes, like Watering plants, like washing cars, like cleaning house, like brushing. Thank you. Sister teachers and my dear friends, I am Radhana Manjagatna Ford from 3rd C. Friends. Have you tried a magic trick at home? This is a magic trick that you can easily master if you understand the concept of hand washing. That is why we should wash our hands with soap and running water. For this, you will need liquid hand wash gel, water, bowl, black paper powder, Take the ball and fill it with water.
sprinkle some paper powder paper powder over the water dig your finger into it and observe nothing will happen nothing will happen to the paper present in the bowl now put some liquid hand wash gel on your finger now slowly dip your finger with the gel into the bowl in the center you will notice that the paper which is sprinkled over the water moves away from the finger and thus is back to the outer edge of the bowl the paper floats on the top of the water due to the surface tension of the water the surface tension pulls the top of the water together like a skin so the water bubbles up surface tension is the result of the strong attraction between molecules in a liquid when the liquid hand wash gel is put into the water the surface tension of the water gets ruptured and water spreads out so water molecules on the surface are pulled towards the end of the bowl friends in this corona situation in lockdown period we must wash our hands with soap and running water to remove germs Washing hands can keep you healthy and prevent the spread of infection from person to person. Friends, try this magic trick at home. Thank you. Friends, I will give you a demo. Watch this.
and bamboo. These are not very strong. They are high and narrow houses. Such houses are called temporary houses. They are from the villages. On the other hand, there are pakka houses. They are very strong. They are made of bricks, steel bars, and cement. Such houses are called permanent houses. These are found in cities. Thank you. Morning everyone. I am Ritri Jafula from 3rd M. Welcome you in my science quarantine project. My project name is Plants are our best friends. Friends, plants prepare their own food by using sunlight, air, water and soil. They eat some of the food and store the rest. They store the stored food in various parts of the plant like roots, stems, leaves, seeds, fruits and flowers. We eat the stored part of the plant body. For example, roots of carrot and radish, stems of potato and ginger, leaves of spinach and coriander, seeds of pea and corn, fruits of tomato and brinjal, flowers of cauliflower. Thus, we get most of the things from plants. Therefore, they are our best friends. Thank you. Hello friends, my name is Saba Napoleon. I study in class 3rd F. I will explain you today about the water cycle. The first stage in the water cycle is evaporation. The water in the river or sea evaporates because of the sun's heat. Then the water vapors reach to the cloud. In the cloud, the, the water vapors transform into little water droplets. Because of the cool air inside the cloud, this is called condensation. Then after a certain time, the cloud cannot hold the water for a long time. That time, it releases the water as the name as drip rain. This is, this is called as precipitation. After that, in the mountains, the water slides down and comes back into the river. Thank you. Hello friends, my name is Samya Sandeep Bhutsar from Mikya Villa Public School. I third standard and division C. From third. Today I am going to tell you about kacha houses and pakka houses. On my right hand there are kacha houses and on my left hand there are pakka houses. You know they are made up of the kacha house is made up of bamboo sticks, a wood and mud and etc. And pakka house is made up of cement, bricks, Thank you friends. Hello, my name is Sarvesh Nile Swage. I am in standard 3rd E. Now I will show you my project. This is my project, a water cycle. Water gets heated by the sun rays. Water evaporates and transfers into water vapor. Water vapor uh, goes comes to the sky and contacts air. Air forms 
small water droplets small water droplets come together and form a cloud then they become big cold and heavy and then they fall down as rain and they they again go to ocean sea river etc and then this process continues this cycle is also called as hydrogenic cycle thank you should be consumed in larger quantity and as we go up the consumption decreases as balance is the key to a happy and healthy life a nutritious balanced diet exercise and sufficient water should be the way of life thank you good morning ma'am principal and my dear friends my name is soham shikan mani from third standard b division today my topic is water cycle experiment we need materials like a big bowl a small bowl a cover material spoon or some portion of salt ice cubes hot and hot water now we can start up process first we have to take hot water and pour into the big bowl
Then we have to take some portion of salt. Then we have to mix it. Then we have to take small bowl and keep into the big bowl. Then we have to take cover the uh, top portion of the bowl. Now we have to take some mice and keep. Now we have to wait 10 minutes. Then we, the bowl is ocean. The cloud, the cover material are clouds and the ice cubes are cold atmosphere. Now we have to wait 10 minutes. Complete. Now we have completed 10 minutes. Then we have to remove cold atmosphere. We have to remove clouds. We have to remove properly because the ice water cannot fall down. It is condensation but it is actually precipitation. See some water. from 3rd FBK Bella Public School. I am thankful to our school for making our lockdown time spent in this project. Today I will explain you about nutrients. There are four types of nutrients that we get from food we eat. First is vitamins and minerals that we get from Fruits and vegetables. They protect us from diseases. Second is protein. Example, milk and cereals. You all know that milk is a complete food. Pro proteins help us in, in growth. Third is fats. Examples, butter, cheese and ghee. They help us in bodybuilding. Our last fourth nutrient is carbohydrates. Examples, potato, bread, chapati and rice. They help us in energy. So basically, we all should eat healthy food to get proper nutrients. Thank you. Bye bye. My name is Tanusha Mullewe. I am from class 3B. Today I am going to show you an experiment of digging soda balloon and vinegar. In chapter food read from EDS, we learn many things. So from two kitchen items, I am going to make this experiment. Take a plastic bottle and put vinegar in it. After that, take a balloon and put baking 
चढ़ाई apply this balloon on this bottle and just see what happens and now just see what happens this balloon inflate because when when we mix baking soda and vinegar, carbon dioxide gas forms and the balloon inflates. Thank you. Water. 
you can see river water is purified by water treatment plant and transferred into overhead tank before coming water in our tap boiling is a safe method to kill germs we can also use an electronic water purifier to purify water rain water harvesting rain water harvesting means collecting and storing rain water for use Finally here are some tips to save water Take a bath use using with a bucket and mug instead of taking shower Avoid watering plants with a pipe use bucket and mug instead fix leaking taps immediately Thank you